All right, so now we've built up a really good fly population. We've got a barrel of uh, fresh food scraps. So we're gonna use some bag ass to really suppress all that smell. Um, anytime you can cover it up with bag ass, it'll start to really dry up whatever's causing the, the odor and also attracting the flies. So, so let's go see what's going on over here. All right. We have our bag of bag ass. As you can see, we've got a lot of, those are house flies, glistening ones, those are blow flies. These are both disease vectors, so we definitely don't like these flies to hang around people. The reason why these guys are disease vectors is because they hop from one food source to the other, so they start to cross all of these different viruses and bacteria and things like that. So if you look at bag ass, it's a really, really porous, uh, fine ground material. This is a pulp that's left over from sugar cane. And for every ton of sugar that we produce in Louisiana, we get two tons of this stuff. So it's a very renewable uh, resource to use around, say, small agricultural settings or anytime you, you maybe have a, a really foul odor, um, like on a compost that has gone bad or rancid. Your compost pile shouldn't have a really, really foul odor to it. If it does, then that means that it's anaerobic. And anaerobic simply means that there's no air, so then we've got more pathogens than beneficial bacteria and microbes that are breaking down the material. So a way to kind of hit the reset button and make your neighbors a lot happier with your ag venture is to simply cover whatever is giving you a problem, a big fly attractant, you can simply cover it with bag ass. This will dry out the material and it will also really, really reduce the amount of smell coming out of it. So flies will be not as attracted to it from a far distance. And it's also pretty useless for them because once the material is dry, the larva can't you know, readily eat through it. So it's not a good uh, reproduction spot. So they're not as interested in it. They'll move on to something else. As you can see, I mean, we had probably 50 flies hanging around there at first. Now we've got one hanging around and that, that won't last very long. All right, so now that you've seen what it can do to a big pile of whole food scraps, I'll show you what it can do to chickens. It makes chicken farming on a small scale way more enjoyable and fly free.